My aunt receives a lot of correspondence. Um, many of them are from um, a National Awards Commission out of um, Kansas. She receives letters from other prize institutions overseas in Australia, in Belgium, in the Netherlands. She's received correspondence from the Far East. I don't know half the time what I have. Typically how the um, sweepstakes and lottery frauds work is that the, the fraudsters will tell the victim that they have this large winning that, th that is going to be coming due to them, but that the money has to come from some international source. And that in order to get access to that international money, there are all kinds of administrative tax or clearance fees that the, that the winner is required to pay in advance of receiving the lump sum reward. If I won the national award, it would be one million dollars. I feel very good about it. Um, you know, when my aunt grew up, radio, you know, newspaper and, and the printed word were things that she held very dear to her. And I think the fact that she receives documents that are authenticated, that have a signature on them, she believes that the information that's in those letters is, is factual. Uh, my aunt is by herself, and as a result of that, I think she's lonesome. And, and I think when you start to read some of these, they very much play on the emotions of the people that receive them. And as a result of that, it's very easy for them to be taken in. Part of the problem with these mass marketing frauds is that they tend to be significantly underreported. Even a conservative estimate of losses to victims just in the United States alone um, would take us very, very easily into the hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Keep track of all prizes and lotteries you enter. And remember, you cannot win a lottery you did not enter. Challenge a caller who says you won a prize to give you all the details of the lottery, when the draw was made, and when and where you entered the lottery. You never have to pay fees or taxes before you receive a lottery prize. Fees and taxes, if any, are levied after you collect. And most importantly, the elderly are the preferred target of ruthless fraudsters. Help the seniors in your life to protect themselves.